Sentenced to die by execution, marathon bomber Jahart Tsarnaev at last broke his silence, telling the court in his words, the bombing, which I am guilty of, if there's any lingering doubt about that, let there be no more. I did do it, along with my brother. Dressed in a dark suit and speaking in a heavily affected accent, the 21-year-old convicted terrorist apologized, saying, I'm sorry for the lives I have taken, the suffering I have caused, the damage I have done. To the prosecutors and some victims, his words rang hollow. I regret having ever wanted to hear him speak because what he said showed no remorse, no regret, and no empathy for what he's done to our lives. What I was struck more was by what he didn't say. He didn't renounce terrorism. He didn't renounce violent extremism. Amputee Rebecca Gregory spoke defiantly to Tsarnaev. Referring to him in his holding cell, Gregory smiled. It's so funny that you smirk and flip off the camera, she said. I feel that's what we're doing to you. When people think back, they won't remember your name or your brother's. Some victims forgave Sarnayev. Others, like the parents of eight-year-old Martin Richard, choosing to honor their son's short life by rejecting Sarnayev's message. He chose hate, he chose destruction, he chose death. We choose love. We choose peace.